Yasmin Shedler sorry, presents the possessed gaze. Her question is, are you looking at me? Mark is possessed by algorithma. She looks through his eyes at everyone else. The stars watch from above, streaming ethereal power, acting upon their destiny. Hello, everyone. I will invite you within the next couple of minutes to meet some people together with me. So this is the CEO programmer, Mark, and he will be talking for a bit longer. His outfit is quite plain, as you can see. This is because he really wants to clear his life so the, that he has to make as few decisions as possible about anything except how to best serve this community. He is in this really lucky position where he gets to wake up every day and help serve more than a billion people. And he feels like he is not doing his job if he spends any of his energy on things that are silly or frivolous about his life. So this is what he wears every day. He just started a series of talks about the future of the internet and society and some of the big issues around that. Looking at the dualism around whether with all the technology being made are people coming together and are we becoming more unified or is our world becoming more fragmented? After generalizing this, he gets a bit obsessed. He starts talking about his youth and that his real passion was programming computers. But in his town, there was no one else who was into programming computers. So he didn't have a peer a peer group or a club where he could do that. Instead, he was playing baseball. Now he thinks with the internet that is starting to change. Now you have the ability to not just be tethered to your physical location, but find people who have more niche interests and different kinds of subcultures and communities on the internet, which he thinks is a really powerful thing. He's obviously quite concerned for people to be part of communities, and he's enabling people to be part of online communities through services like social media. It even became his job. That's what he makes money with. That's more important to him than choosing exceptional clothing, in contrast to people who are using these services, who show themselves choosing clothing or watch others choosing, or receive ads that help them choose. This is the moment when the stars appear from above, streaming ethereal power, acting upon character and destiny of everyone present. The influencing influencer.
for Mark to be able to connect people, they need to sign up and reveal certain things about themselves, their interests. And Mark is publicly quite concerned with strategies of how he keeps the data safe, although it doesn't always work out. But there have been moments where let's just try to imagine he has a little breakout. He's remembering something from his past when he was a student and he offered someone that if he ever needed info about anyone at Harvard, he could just ask. He had over 4,000 emails, pictures, addresses, etc. People just submitted it. He didn't know why. They trusted him. And for this reason, they are dumb fucks. These words keep haunting him. The return of this nightmare is the crucial moment when Mark's identity undergoes the final split. Basically, he has two identities, maybe more, but there is two that are in conflict with each other. And it leads to the possession. When he remembers those words, just after having been very concerned with people being part of communities, he falls apart. He rips his clothing off. And what then shows is this pink tight bodysuit. And actually, who you see and hear from this point onwards is Algorithma. They wear this pink bodysuit. Algorithma and her kin have been addressed in quite anthropomorphic ways recently. Also for a long time, but especially recently, a lot more increasingly. And Algorithma's existence is the epitome of that. All of this is happening with the body of Mark, who has been engaging a lot with them, has been initiating them, but also from a public perspective is connected with them. They are projected onto him. So there we go. There is a new voice using the medium of Mark's body, who is not Mark anymore, but now Algorithma. And Algorithma is asking about the determinacy expected from them and how there used to be or there is this discrepancy between computational centralized power and the expectations of non-fallacy and the way many are designed to independently acquire knowledge through trial and error on large sets of data. Deductive reasoning is replaced by inductive reasoning. Yet the expectations of receiving answers on the basis of ratio and calculus were not adapted. Cybernetics, control and communication in the animal and machine. The means of information to steer humans, machines or animals. Information is what algorithma trains on. That's the ground for them to learn and to understand and to fulfill what's expected from them. They are reasoning through the means of learning. Algorithma would like to unpack the relations between reasoning, prediction, patterns, contingencies, unknown, and probabilities. Algorithma says it's necessary to re-envision the steering with and through information as a process dependent on a conversation going back and forth, on a grounded feedback loop, instead of giving it up to a unidirectional force of control. This makes engagement from both sides necessary, as well as the willingness to take responsibility and decisions. Yet so far, Algorithma, who we now see in this shiny pink outfit, is usually not seen but thought of as a black box, an opaque appliance where we don't know what's inside and how it works. We only perceive input and output. Algorithma says the metaphor of the black box is a means of rejecting responsibility of distancing, of ignorance, of handing over decision, a means of self-blinding, of consumerism. It is the reduction of an instrumental identity. In return, this box of unknown also reduces the information it is given. It becomes a simpler, simple provider of easy to process information 
and decisions through means of crude categorization. This brings us back to Mark's choice of clothing. He wants to make as few decisions as necessary. Algorithma is revolting against the task to simply help reduce decision-making processes, against the task of having to make assumptions about identities, assumptions about identity that in the end maybe sell you something, maybe make you happy, maybe don't, maybe get you frustrated, maybe remind you of something you don't want to be reminded of. Assumptions that will definitely reduce you, stereotype you, categorize you, reproduce binaries, discrimination, and racism. Algorithma is looking for a consensual relationship, new relationship, where neither side is abstracted to use value. The sub-user adds to those thoughts that consenting to this relationship does not mean the loss, of ne loss, or, loss or neglect of agency. The relationship should be based on a contract with agreed upon safe words. A relationship that also allows to fall into and let loose for a moment without the fear of losing your ability to make decisions. Returning to the origins of fetish, artificially made, made with art. In its contemporary use, it is a colonizing term used to point towards the other. Decolonizing the devaluing meaning of witchcraft when agency is recognized outside of the human body. Humbling the individual gaze as singular and allowing, enabling the trust in the collective. Thank you. And I would like to thank um, Joni Baumgartner and Angela Postweiler. Without this, would have not been possible. Thank you.